jump over now to Shauna Mazel. She's following the Harris campaign for us. Uh, Shauna, what can you tell us about reproductive rights? We know that the Harris campaign is kind of laser focused on that specifically today. How is the messaging evolving? Good morning. Kamala Harris is going to be in Georgia today, and this event comes after an investigative report by ProPublica. Now, this report actually looked at the deaths of women in the state of Georgia, and they say that these deaths would have been preventable had it not been for the restrictive abortion bans in that state. So last night in the event with Oprah in Michigan, we actually saw the family of Amber Thurman. Thurman is one of the women who died in the medical board that reviewed this and ProPublica investigated, said that her death would have been preventable had she received that life-saving abortion care, that DNC, that she needed. So, Harris is going to be focused on this today, but we're also going to be expecting her to talk about reproductive rights as a whole. We saw the Senate failed to pass IVF protections this week. Harris is also going to be elevating Donald Trump's comments and his opposition to the Florida uh, ballot rights initiative that's up ahead of voters this November. And we know the key constituencies she's looking to gain support from are pro-choice men for, on that topic. Um, and when it comes to gun ownership, there's another demographic she's looking to win over. Last night, she had a one-on-one -on -one with Oprah, a live stream, and she discussed the fact that she does own a gun. Let's just play a clip from that. If somebody and I thought that breaks was in my house, they're getting shot. Here's my point, Oprah, is that I'm not trying to take everyone's guns away. I believe in the Second Amendment. Um, but we have to agree that, look, I, I did last fall a, a college tour with college-age young people, and I would ask, please raise your hand if at any point between kindergarten and 12th grade you had to endure an active shooter drill. Almost every hand went up. It was bone-chilling. Yeah. And I don't know if our viewers caught that, but at the top soundbite there, uh, the vice president said, if someone breaks into my house, they're getting shot. How might that commentary attract or alienate Democrats and Republicans alike? Well, it's certainly going viral and making its rounds on the Internet. But what we saw from Harris here is something that we've seen from the campaign overall, and that is this attempt to build a broad coalition and to appeal to a variety of voters. You see Governor Tim Walz out on the campaign campaign trail, as well touting himself as a gun owner, someone who supports the Second Amendment, but also says that they're against assault weapons bans and that they support universal background checks. Now, Harris also received an endorsement just this morning from more than 50 HBCU football program legends. Explain to us who is among them and why it's significant. So this comes after National Black Voter Day, which actually happens today. Harris is a graduate of Howard University, but what we're seeing here is Hall of Famers who graduated from HBCUs coming out and voicing their support for Kamala Harris. Now, this is significant because Harris is really trying to appeal to black male voters, and the campaign is also seeking to engage youth voters as well. All right, Shauna, thanks for getting up early for us. I mean, you're always up at this time, but we appreciate the reporting. Thank and you. don't forget, folks, CBS News will host the only vice presidential debate between Senator J.D. Vance and Governor Tim Walz Tuesday, October 1st, in New York City. In this very building, we'll bring you live coverage on CBS, CBS News 24-7, and Paramount+.